Hello and thank you for watching my video. My name is Astrid Krasnici. I'm CCNA and CCMP certified instructor. On this video, we are covering new topics that have been added to the CCNA exam 200-125. This is section 4.3, point-to-point -point protocol over Ethernet. Upon completion of this section, you should be able to implement a Cisco router with PPPoE. Now, point-to-point -point protocol over Ethernet verification command. The customer's router is connected to the ISP router using DSL. Point-to-point -point protocol over Ethernet is a network protocol that will encapsulate PPP frames inside Ethernet frames. This is mainly used in the DSL services. With PPP OE, virtually you dial from one machine to another over the Ethernet network. Establish a point-to-point -point connection and then data packets are securely transported through this connection. Both routers have been configured with PPPoE. To configure, for example, first of all, we're going to create this virtual interface. For example, interface dialer 2. Then we have to put MTU 1492. PPPoE supports an MTU of only 1492 bytes in order to accommodate the additional 8 bytes for PPPoE. Then we say an IP address negotiated. Specify that the IP address for the particular interface is obtained by a PPP IP control protocol, IPCP address negotiation. Then we say encapsulation PPP, so we're enabling a point-to-point -point protocol encapsulation. Then we say dialer pool 2. Specify the dialing pool the dialer interface uses to connect to a specific destination network or subnetwork. PPP authentication CHAP, so we're enabling CHAP authentication and the word call in. Now, if we put the word call in, the initiating router does not challenge the remote server. But without the call in, when you enable PPP, then you need to, uh, there's like a mutual authentication, yeah? You authenticate in the server, the server has to authenticate you. No, if we put the call in, only the server will authenticate you. Then we say PPP chap hostname customer1, PPP chap password, Cisco PPP OE. And then we uh, go to the interface and we enable PPP OE. So with the command PPP OE enable. And then we identify where is our pool. So PPP OE dash client dial dash pool dash number two. And then when we're done, we can set all our routing, all our, there will be a dialer pool will be our gateway. So IP root, quad zeros for any network, quad zeros again for any subnet mask towards dialer pool two interface. Then when we do show IP interface brief command, issues in R1, we can verify the IP address has been assigned by the ISP. So IPCP, we got the assigned IP address 10131 and layer 1 and layer 2 is working. Show interface dialer, command on R1, verifies the MTU and PPP encapsulation has been configured on dialer interface. So for example, MTU 1492 here and the encapsulation PPP. Show IP root, command will display the routing table of R1. The first host route is for the IP for the address assigned by the dialer pool. The second host route is the IP address of the ISP. And then we have a default gateway as well. Show PPPoE session command is used to display information about currently active PPPoE sessions. The output displays a local and remote Ethernet MAC address on the both routers. So we can see the local MAC address and remote MAC address. PPPoE troubleshooting overview. After ensuring that the client router and DSL modems are connected with the proper cables, one or more following reason is usually the cause of PPPoE connection that is not working properly. Failure in the PPP negotiation process. It's going to either be a negotiation or authentication problem. Or you have forgot to adjust the TCP maximum segment size, the MTU size. To debug, for example, you will say debug PPP negotiation and see if, if it's negotiation happening. And you can do as well debug PPP authentication, for example. 
And if there's a problem with authentication, we can, we're going to see a, a syslog message that says authentication failure. Thank you very much for watching my video. Please have a look at my other videos and don't forget to subscribe. This has been Astrid Krasnici. Bye.